Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to Rustic and Lace DIY. If you're returning, thank you all so very much. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Brenda and I'm happy to have you here. Well, it's that time of month again where I am participating in Cory with Crafted by Cory's mini challenge. So I'll let you know more about that in a few minutes. But with all that being said, let's get to crafting. Okay, here's DIY number one. So for this little sign, I took some cardboard that I got out of one of those Dollar Tree calendars, and then I printed uh, some stuff off my uh, Cricut, and then some tumbling tower blocks, and some scrapbook paper from Hobby Lobby. So I started off by uh, using the tumbling tower blocks to figure out um, the size that I'm going to need for my decal that I printed, and I ended up using eight of those blocks. So <clears throat> I um, am then going to hot glue them together and I'm going to do three or sorry, two strips of three and two strips of two. And I'm just going to hot glue them end to end like you see me doing right here. And then once I get them all hot glued together, I am just going to start making my frame by hot gluing the two longer pieces, the pieces that have the three tumbling tower blocks to the end of one of those shorter piece that has the two tumbling tower blocks. And then I'm going to hot glue the next one. I, I was trying to figure out how to do this using my uh, square ruler there so that it would butt up against it. Um, and then once I have that done, then I'm going to hot glue those two ends to the other smaller piece, making a frame. And then after that, I'm just using that to trace out. Um, and then I cut right inside of the line because I wanted it to be a little smaller than that frame so that it would fit in the back. Then I'm just going to uh, take my paper here and I'm using this um, Elmer's spray glue. I love this stuff you guys. If you haven't tried it, I would recommend trying it out. It is, it works great. I love it. So I'm just adding the paper on to that cardboard there and then I'm going to just trim off all the excess with my exacto knife. <clears throat> and after that I going to take my antique wax by Waverly and a paper towel and I am just dry brushing some all around I guess it's really not dry brushing but I'm using the paper towel to just wipe it all around the front the back and the sides of my frame And then after that, I just kind of use the dry part of my paper towel to just kind of wipe off some of the extra. Then I'm just going to hot glue it right over um, that backing there. Now, I probably should have put my decal on first after I hot glued it. I was like, ugh, why didn't I put my decal on first? But it still worked. I still got it on there. So here I am just taking this little flower and I'm going to put it in between my words because I wanted it to be the eye for the word spring and I'm just placing it right there like you see <clears throat> then I'm going to use another piece of my transfer tape and I'm going to um, just adhere that to the middle of that sign this is a super easy project and I think it's really cute so you see there I was just like oh I hope this works I hope this works but thank goodness it did and just had to work a little bit to make sure those letters stayed on the backing. <clears throat> but I do get it done. And then I don't show this part, but I do use one of those little um, sticker dots. You'll see some on some of the next uh, DIYs. I put that in the middle of the flower just to kind of give it a little bit more dimension. Then I just took two more tumbling tower blocks, hot glue them together, use that Waverly Antique Wax on it and then I'm just going to um, hot glue that to the back just so that it has something so that it can stand and that's all there was for this one. It's super easy. Um, if we recreate this you can always add a bow or some twine 
Um, I just wanted to leave it like it was and I just think it's really cute. I love that flower as the eye. You have to let me know what you think of this one in the comment box below. So like I said at the beginning, today is the minis challenge that is hosted every month by Corey with Crafted by Corey. If you don't know who she is, which I highly doubt, make sure you check out her uh, channel. Subscribe. She is an amazing lady. She is so sweet and so talented and I love participating in this challenge every month. And this month's theme is uh, Spring Mardi Gras or St. Patrick's Day. So make sure you check out her channel and the playlist. I'll have links for all of that in my description box below. Here's DIY number two. So for this DIY, I uh, made this with my Cricut. I took some coasters I got from Dollar Tree last year and this cutting board I found at Dollar Tree just a few weeks ago. So I start off by removing the hanger and then trying to remove this paper. Now this paper had a weird like plasticky film over it. I, I normally don't see that on their stuff. Um, but I am sitting here trying to get all that paper off as much as I could and it was just not wanting to come off. So I just started spraying it with water and just using my Cricut spatula to just scrape up all that paper. Um, and then once I got that all off, I'm taking my Waverly chalk paint and I painted it in white. And then I'm taking my decal here and I am just placing it onto the top of that cutting board. And then after I am done with that, I take one of these coasters and I'm just going to hot glue it right below it. Again, super easy project. Um, and you could do so much to this. Um, but this is just, you know, inspiration of different things that you could do. So once I have that on there, I am going to take another one of those little... Oh, I guess I'll do that in a minute. I, first, I'm going to um, make a bow. So I took this ribbon. I got this from the Dollar Tree. And I am going to just make a little bow. Um, I just did the awareness ribbon sign, scrunch it up in the middle. And here I'm using a twist tie to um, keep it all scrunched and tied together. And then after I have that uh, just like I want it, I will trim off the rest of that twist tie in the back. And then I'm going to also dovetail the ends of those uh, ribbon tails. <clears throat> then after that, I'm just going to hot glue it right there at the top of that cutting board. And then this, I'm going to take one of these little the, um, sticker dots and I... I'm going to put one right in the middle of that flower. I just thought that really helped it look more like a flower. And then I'm going to take some little smaller dots that I had and I'm just using the purple ones and I'm just going all around the corners and that is all there was. No, there's not. Sorry, I did make a stand for it. Unfortunately, I was running out of time because I was doing this before I had to fly out to my son's and I didn't paint it. But when I get home, I'm going to paint that the little uh, stand behind it. So there it is. You have to let me know what you think about this one in the comment box below. Okay, if you'd like to follow me on social media, you can find me my links in my link tree in the description box below. Here is DIY number three. So for this DIY, I am going to take um, another decal I printed for my Cricut. This uh, ornament that I got from Dollar Tree this winter at Christmas time and then some more of that scrapbook paper. So I'm just re uh, starting by removing the hanger and then I'm going to trace out that tag sign and then I'm going to cut out that paper. Now when I uh, trace this out I did um, make sure that the paper, that the lines were going vertically instead of horizontally. That way it looked more like shiplap. And then I am using some more of that spray adhesive glue and I am just going to put that on. But I think I got a little too much because later you can see at the top kind of looks a little wrinkled there, but it did dry okay. Then I take, 
uh, this little bird that I found on Cricut Design Space and I put that on the sign and then I just uh, created this saying that just says chirp. Kind of wish I would have said chirp chirp, but you know, <laughs> it's still cute. And uh, I'm just going to put that on the bottom. And then <clears throat> once I am done with that, getting all those letters on there, I am going to take an embossing tool and I'm just going to poke through the paper where the hole is there. And then I'm going to take my ribbon. I got this ribbon from the Dollar Tree as well. And an um, upholstery needle. And I'm going to use that to thread the ribbon through that hole. And then I'm just going to get it to the length that I want it and trim it off. And then I'm going to use my hot glue. I'm just going to put a little dab of hot glue and dab it together there. And then I'm going to take that little piece and hot glue that onto the back. And then I'm just going to use some more of those little dots and go around this little tag sign with it. Oh, I'm sorry. I do make a bow and put it at the top there as well. If you are new here, I just want to say welcome. My name is Brenda and I am so happy to have you stop by today. If you like home decor on a budget, holiday decor, thrift flips, gift ideas, then hit that subscribe button, become part of our YouTube family, and then let me know that you're here. I'd love to get to know you. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And even if you're returning and not new, make sure you comment. I always love to read your guys' comment and respond back to you. Um, and then make sure you, again, give me that thumbs up. That way YouTube knows you like it and will promote it a little bit more. And for those of you who don't know, I am not at home. I did this when I was at home. I am currently away at my son's. He was diagnosed with leukemia almost three weeks ago now. And so I had to, of course, come over and help the family out. Um, but he's doing good. So thank you for those of you that are praying. We really appreciate it. And keep on those prayers. Thank you so much. So here is the final reveal of that one. I think it came out so cute and I do plan on putting it on my tear tray. I'm not going to be hanging it. I probably will just have it leaning on another item. So here's DIY number four. So for this DIY, I'm going to use some of these wild flowers that I got from Dollar Tree last year. And then this terracotta pot that I had previously painted white and put some uh, floral foam in it. I was going to use it for another project and then ended up doing something else. So here I'm just going to cut um, these little flower picks off and stick them right into that floral foam. Super easy, guys, um, but it's really cute. I love these wildflowers. At first I thought they were lavender picks, but then I realized, no, they're, they're a little different, and I looked and saw that they're supposed to be wildflowers, but I love them. And, of course, my favorite color is purple, so... All of these, I think I really, really love because, you know, they they, they got my favorite color. <laughs> You'll have to let me know what you think. But again, super, super easy. But yet when you see the end, I think it's just, it just really pops with that white um, pot. I just think that everything just really pops. So after I get them all in there, I do take off some of these little leaves because I could still see some of the floral foam. And I just go all around and just kind of stick them in. And then that way it just helps cover um, the foam. Then I take some more of this purple ribbon that I got from Dollar Tree. And I am just going to um, hot glue it all around the top edge there. Like you see, just going to trim it off. Just put a little hot glue and add it right there and then wrap it around and add a little more hot glue and, and that part is done and I thought about making a bow with that same ribbon um, but I did I just felt like it would be maybe a little too much so instead I just took a little bit of jute twine made a small bow gonna hot glue it right in the middle and that is all there is for this one and I 
love this. I think it is so pretty. And you could have this up all spring, summer. It doesn't even have to be just an Easter thing. Um, but I love it. I hope you do too. You have to let me know what you think about this one and what was your favorite one out of all of these. So here is the final reveal of all four items. Laura, thank you so much, you guys, for um, watching today. And make sure you check out Corey's video as well as the playlist. And thank you again for those who have been praying for my son. We really do appreciate it. And I will be back again on um, Sunday, I think. I think it's Sunday <laughs> with another video. If not, I know it's Tuesday. I have more for you guys, so just have those notification bells set. And with all that being said, you guys, have a blessed week, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.